James one is this beautiful house olfactive studio, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, produces fantastic, beautiful fragrance, very sophisticated and approachable fragrances. I'll tell you about Lumiere Blanche next. Stay tuned. So I love Lumia Blanche and I'll have other examples here of uh, fragrances that I have by Olfactive Studio. Sophisticated, beautiful, gorgeous. And uh, I think what I was first attracted to was obviously the color and the packaging. Very simple, almost camera-like in many ways. You're gonna see these really cool things on the packaging itself. Looks like a 35 millimeter camera. And um, I think this is a nicely sophisticated program. And what I think is really remarkable is just the, the beauty of these coming together in a way that's compelling and beautiful and different. How many ways can you bring together maybe a few singular notes, uh, maybe cedar or sandalwood, and make it different? Uh, I think when you start compounding with many different materials, you're really getting to what parfum is or perfume is. Um, so when you use the word per and fume, meaning smoke or by smoke, is how you come across creating those concentrated materials and beautiful concentration of, um, I think, imagination and beauty and experience. You cannot produce beautiful fragrances without a lot of experience. Now, what I very much enjoy and appreciate about these fragrances is uh, each of these have a different uh, fragrance maker or a master perfumer, and they're able to bring together their experience and uh, you know really great vision. So the packaging here is great, and the photographs are all different on the packaging, Lumia Blanche, and uh, so I think it's really cool because the coloration on this is, so the beautiful um, fragrance itself, it's not just in terms of the way it smells, but the way it looks. It has this uh, very pearlescent characterization to it. Now, I'll read you some of the back copy here on this. It says, their description about Lumia Blanche on the packaging here, this is a sample by the way, is it's a mild and enveloping perfume. Lumia Blanche is a comforting cocoon between milky mildness and cold spices. Well said, I think it's uh, you know fantastically well done. And one where I think I am not a huge fan of a lot of say gourmand characterization. There's a lot of say US fragrance producers that lean heavily on just gourmand only and there's no other backbone to this. So when I come upon the characterization of this fragrance, it goes beyond there are some uh, characteristic notes on this that are going to be the gourmand characterization, but you balance it out with some more elegant and beautiful and gorgeous and enveloping uh, complexities to this fragrance. So here we go. Now, um, this is a sample. I don't have a package of it. Now, I always answer uh, often on my channel about things that I would do. So what I would do is I'm gonna buy this bottle in the future because I think it's fantastic. And if I already had it, I'd say, would I buy it again? On this, I would say yes and yes, because I think it is compelling and beautiful. Now, what the notes are, so the master perfumer is Sidonie Lanzacera from the house of Robert Day. And uh, so here we go, let me put some on my wrist here. And when I do so, I uh, put some on the wrist. I don't, um, you know, move it around. I don't want the molecules to heat up. A lot of people do that. Um, and I think it's really surprising that people still do that. You don't need to do that. I think it's really that desire to spread into different parts of your wrist. But lightly touching, I put on my ears because I do shave. And if I do, it's gonna hurt a bit. Uh, so I prefer not to do that. I still get the same effects. And in fact, it might get a closer characterization from nose to um, the ear. So the beauty on this fragrance is that it lasts a, a while. The silage is great. It's not overwhelmingly uh, long. It lasts comfortably so. There are so many fragrances out there that have uh, you know, artificial ingredients or man-made ingredients that I think are terrible, um, that really are so overarching and really defeat the characterization of subtlety and complexity. And you need to have independent producers like this that produce thoughtful fragrances. So the top notes are cardamom, star anise, so that really nice spicy quality characterization, cinnamon characterization as well as star anise and cardamom. On the heart note is iris, almond milk, and cashmere wood. And on the base note is cedar, sandalwood, tonka bean, and white musk. So when I think of the base notes, that's the magic. That's what brings out the expression of the gourmand characterization, but doesn't let it over express or over index in those characterizations. Instead, the white musk brings a lot of uh, what I call that European sophistication, urban characterization, uh, something that is so uniquely different yet haunting. And it's a nice frame, if you will, a picture frame and it really brings these together in a way that's harmonious and one doesn't fight against the other note as well. My additional notes on this that I do get 
our uh, leather suede notes as well as freshly sanded cedar notes, uh, dried wood pile, and uh, finally a bit of calla lily. And a lot of people don't think calla lilies have a scent characterization, but I think they do. It's almost like a uh, you know floral note meets uh, butter note, uh, but they're fantastically beautiful. It goes from butter to that really beautiful green white floral characterization very quickly and beautifully. That's the additional characterization that I get from this. This is uh, 95 points out of 100 points. More reviews to come on James Styles. That's what I call my channel. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. I love this producer. Now be sure if you can find these at a thoughtful retailer in the United States or around the world, be sure to give them a try. They're absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Sante.